Everyone, I hope you are doing well. And um, I'm still in um, the Bass House here in uh, in uh, in the countryside. And I would like to tell you something very interesting. I think it tells us a lot about uh, China. Remember, I told you a few times about the rush in China. So whenever there is something free, whenever there is something free or illimited, um, you can take as much as you want. You can get as as much refill as you want. Chinese people, they will abuse. They will take all they can. Mm, because it's, that's how it is. Even in the West, it's, it's the same. But in China, it's even worse than in the West. It's the people like uh, if you can, um, there is a buffet. There is as much food as as you can. People will take one plate, two plates, three plates, four plates. It doesn't matter that they that they cannot finish their, what's there on their plate. They will take as much as they can, and then um, they will take, of course, the most expensive first. It's free, it's most expensive. And in the countryside, in, in, in the cities, it's not the same because m maybe people are more wealthy or uh, they g got a different education, they receive a different education, but in the countryside, um, and especially for older people, it will be crazy. Even there is a bargain, a discount, a present. You see, and here you can see it by yourself. People rush here, uh, and I'm showing you this place because here they will give you some fruit. So people take the fruit and look, the spirit everywhere on the floor. Ah, anyway, it's free. You can go and take more. So it's uh, how it is, it's like a savage, you know. And I think it used to be the same in France, and it's still the same in many places. And when I'm here, I also fight and try to 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 get as much as I can. But the thing here. Because it's the countryside and because they know the, the bus house, they know it will be like this. What do they do? They say, uh, you pay, it's kind of expensive, the entrance is not that cheap. And then when you pay, they tell you, okay, you have uh, the fruits and you can take as... Uh, and then once you are here inside, they tell you, okay, you are outside. Um, you see, you, you wear a, a bathing suit, so you are almost naked outside. You just have the towel and the bathing suit. And so if you want to come here on the third floor, you need to get dressed. So people go out of the water, they must get dressed uh, and put on their clothes. Then they must climb up the three floors here and then they must come here and take the fruit. And when they arrive here, they, they write on the, on the place where you have the fruit available, only two plates for one person. So each person can only take two plates. In fact, they don't shake it because I think if they were to shake it, people will, will, will simply uh, shot. People will simply complain because uh, people will say, hey, I paid, I paid uh, more than 200 RMB and you only give me two plates. So they don't shake it for real. But they will write it on the door. And theref therefore, it's the way they limit the, the waste and they limit the expense. Because if they didn't write only two plates, maybe people would take ten plates. Yeah. Another thing that uh, oft, if, they, if you didn't have to take uh, put, uh, put on your clothes, people would um, will come here, uh, take a bath uh, one hour, and every hour or so every 30 minutes they will come here and eat some food. And at the end, it's much more expensive. Here, once you get dressed, what you do, you go here once and you leave. I'm not going to take off my clothes again and go back to the bus. I will, I will just leave. So this is very clever. Also what they do is they don't give you the raw fruit. So they will cut the fruit for you and uh, put it on a plate. Means that you cannot steal any fruit because this is something that uh, the people will do if it's free. They will come and, and put the fruit inside their pockets. They will come with a bag and, and put as much as they can inside the bag. Especially in the countryside, you see, they will take as much as they can. So uh, when some, a, few, a few times I had some event, I organized some event uh, for uh, the promotion of my wine and we'll, I would have, um, we would have uh, the, free, um, the free sweets, the free chocolates and you have one person who comes and he takes half of it. <laughs> See, that's crazy. When I was uh, at this MMA event, um, when you are s sitting in the VIP area, uh, you have also some free food and one or two guests, they would take as much as they could, you know, and uh, that's how it is in China. You cannot, uh, the people will not restrain themselves. It's free, I can take as much as I want, you know. It's free, I can do as much as I want. And of course, this is the way people think. Yeah. I don't know why she's dressed like this. Normally, she's not allowed to go up this way. The thing is, people will not respect the rules even. And I understand that they do this to limit the cost. But at the same time, on the other side, you can say, okay, I paid a lot and why you don't give me... Another thing that they do here to reduce the cost, so they cut the fruit already for you and they will g give you only the cheapest fruit. So here you had um, orange, 
you had a watermelon and you had apple and of course uh, the most expensive fruit at this time of the year is the watermelon you don't have any watermelon maybe they come from thailand or from south china so what they will do they will not give you a lot of watermelon and uh, only a few pieces and if you ask them say oh there is no more they will, they will, uh, or they will pretend there is no more or they will then then people can only they eat the no, nobody, uh, she, she told us, uh, nobody can get, get the watermelon. Uh, so in the end, you, you can only um, take the apple or the orange. And these are, of course, very cheap at this time of the year. It costs nothing. So for them, they really reduce the cost. I understand. I understand that they do this. Um, but then you also, I also understand that people are not happy. Like, <laughs> we're not very satisfied because we can see other guests that arrived a little bit earlier. They uh, got some watermelon and then uh, I, w I was thinking it's a little bit mean because the entrance fee is not cheap and, um, and uh, we pay uh, for all this and then we don't get it. So it's a little bit in, but at the same time I also understand because for them they are running a business and if they offer it, um, if they offer more, it's likely that people uh, will steal a lot. Uh, it's the countryside, as I explained. It's always about the people. I think this debate is very interesting, in fact, because it's about the freedom. What freedom people have. You see, if you leave people free, they will do a mess. That's the problem of democracy. And uh, that's a part that I like in China. It's the problem of democracy. Someone gets rich. Uh, he has the whole freedom to do whatever he wants. He's rich. What he will do? He will destroy everything. He will buy four cars, he will buy a plane, he will destroy the hill. He will um, decide to plant his own uh, things here, he decide to build his own stuff there. And the freedom, in the end, it leads to the destruction of the environment, the destruction of the planet and the destruction of, uh, of, of the place and the use of resource, of limited resource. That's the freedom. Here, if you leave the people free, they will take as much as they can and in the end the place will be bankrupt or uh, maybe uh, because uh, one or two guys take a lot then there is no more food left for the other people for the other customers you know and i'm just showing you around uh, this is the countryside and you have the parking here but it's really beautiful but um, i really wish i at some point i can simply live in the countryside like this buy a small land small one but with some trees just trees around and just stay there, you know, <laughs> and enjoy myself because the hair is good, the scenery is nice. Um, you can grow your own vegetable. You can do as you wish. It's nice. Someone is snoring behind. Oh, this is this guy. <laughs> like that's how it is. No, but uh, it's nice. It's nice. I really like it. So. Um, I will leave you for now. Tell me what you think. I think it's a e very interesting debate and I think China um, showed the world a lot because it's the same all over the world. But in China, um, I always say China is, is, is the example for the world not to follow because, um, you know, th there, was m there were many hardships in China. I think China now as a country really destroyed its, on its environment, really destroyed uh, its natural resource. And why? How did this happen? And how is it still happening? And it's the same in the world. It's the same in the world, you know this. And I think, how can you, can you do so that you don't end up like China and that the whole planet doesn't end up like China or worse? How can we do? What is the political regime that we need? Uh, what do you need to tell people? What is the freedom that you can give to people? What is the, what is the things that, w how, to, how to do, how to do for, for the good of the, f of the planet, for the good of the people? How can we deal with this, you know? So it's an uh, interesting debate. Uh, I will leave you for now. <laughs> Take care. Thank you for following the channel. See you next time. Huh?